shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like a sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me? Baby, I can't help me. Turn this shit up. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get multiple modded outfits all at once using the transfer glitch but in this video you will not need to merge any of the outfits to actually get the outfit and save it as soon as you learn to online you will get all of the modded outfits so anyways I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and let's just go ahead and get straight into it so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the outfit on that you want to keep because you will be losing all your outfits apart from the one you have on now once you have that you want to bring up your pause menu and then go over to swap character now you just want to wait until you load into swap character so you should see that you load in and you, both your characters will walk out your male and your female character but if you don't have a female character just like i do here you just want to go ahead and select the female character but i don't have one so i'm going to go ahead and press x or a to edit the female character or it might be a male character for you if it is it doesn't really matter so now once you once you see the screen you want to make sure that your um, your character is a female character if it's not just change it from male to female and once you have that just go ahead and press um go over to save and continue then just go ahead and take a picture name it whatever you want and i just want to wait until you load into gta online and you will see the diamond casino um trailer so you just want to go ahead and wait until that finishes so i'm just going to go ahead and speed it up here and wait till it finishes so as you guys can see it's finished here so now once you load in you might have the same situation as me where there's no clothing stores on the map then if that has happened you just want to go ahead and then just find a new session it's not a big deal and there's nothing to worry about you just want to go ahead and find a new session so i'm just going to go ahead and find a new session here and then i'll see you guys when i'm in a new session so once you're in a new session and you can see that you have clothing stores on the map you just want to go ahead and get a car or just call in your personal vehicle and make your way over to the clothes store it can be any clothes store you want i'm just going to make my way over to this clothes store now once you're the clothes store you want to make sure you have all accessories off so my character had earrings on so I'm just going to go ahead and take them off. Now you guys want to copy the exact outfits that I do to get the components for the outfits. So anyway, so the first outfit you want to go over to the top section and you want to go down to bike cuts. Now you want to make your way over to number 50 just like I do here. So this will be the top for the first outfit. And it is the patch darted vest. So you just want to go ahead and buy that and then equip it. So now once you have that bought you want to make your way down on the clothing section over to tuck t-shirts. Now you want to go over to black roll t which will be number four and you just want to go ahead and buy that so now once you've bought that you just want to back out and make your way over to the pants section so now once you've made your way over to the pants section you want to go over to leather pants and then you just want to scroll down until you find the tan the tan um not the tan sorry the mocha rib and you want to go ahead and buy them now once you've bought them you want to go over to the glasses section i said he was going to make my way over to the wrong section but you want to make your way over to the glasses section just like I do here and we're going to be getting the checkable glasses on this outfit so if you don't want them you don't have to go ahead and put these glasses on but if you do you want to go to casual glasses and go to number 22 to equip the copper marble glasses so this will be the checkable glasses this is the component for the checkable glasses and if you also want the checkerboard hat which is um, what I'm going to get here with the hat section you want to go to canvas hats and then buy number 78 but if you don't want the checkerboard hat then you don't need to do that so now you just want to make your way over to the shoe section now you want to make your way over to high heels. I accidentally made my way over to high heel boots. But you want to make your way over to high heels. As you'll see in a second, I backed out and go over to high heels. Just because I accidentally went to the wrong thing. Now you just want to keep scrolling backwards on high heels until you find the beige patent heels, which should be number 43. So you just want to go ahead and buy that. Now once you have that bought, this is the first outfit done. This is for the juggernaut outfit with the trump pants, which we'll see later on. And you will also see in the thumbnail. So now you just want to go ahead and save that, it can be any slot, I recommend slot 12. But if you have an outfit on your male character in slot 12, then don't save it in slot 12. I'm just going to go ahead and um, save it in slot 12, and then I'm just going to rename it Jug because it's for the Juggernaut outfit. So now once you've saved the outfit, we're going to make, we're going to get onto the second outfit. So you want to go over to the top section. Now you want to make it over to Leather Jackets. And you want to buy the black cropped bicar. I accidentally brought the blue cropped bicar without realizing. But also, you want to make sure that you have the, um, the tuck t shirts on. You want to go to black classic. And you will see in a second, I go back over to the leather jacket because I accidentally put on the wrong one. 
So after this, um, you want to go back to the leather jackets. I'm sorry about this. You want to make your way back to the leather jackets. Go to number 75 and put on the black crop biker. So do you know you want to make sure you don't put on that blue crop biker just like I did. I put that on accidentally. So now once you have that on, you make your way over to the pants section. Now you want to go over to leather pants and you want to go one up to buy the red ripped. So it should be just above the other ones that you had on for the first outfit. So you just want to go ahead and buy that. Now you want to make your way over to high heels just again. No, my, not high heels, my bad. You want to go to just the boots. And you just want to scroll until you find the ash winter boots. Which should be number 77 out of 94. So you just want to go ahead and buy them. Now once you bought them, you can go ahead and save the outfit. This was the second outfit for these modded outfits. So you, you can just go ahead and save that in the slot above or below the outfit you just saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this in slot 11. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename it. You can name it anything you want or you can name it just like me. I named it Tron because it's for the other Tron outfit in this video. But you can just name it anything you want. It's completely up to you. And you can also put it in whatever slot you want to. So anyways, you want to make your way back over to the top section. Then you want to go over to Bustiers. And you want to equip the teal lace bustier not teal lace my bad the white bustier you want to go ahead and equip that then you want to go ahead and take off the leather jacket so now once you've taken off the leather jacket you want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants section and you want to go on to jeans section and you want to scroll until you find the black cropped so the black cropped will just be in number 38 so you want to go ahead and buy them and then also equip them So now once you have them jeans equipped, you want to make your way over to the cap section, just like I do here. Then you want to go to caps forward, and then you just want to scroll up on your D-pad until you find the 24-7 supermarket hat. So it should be number 92, so you just want to go ahead and buy that. Now you want to make your way over to the shoe section, just like I do here. And you want to go ahead and go to high heels, not high, sorry, the high heel boots. I actually went to high heels, but you want to make your way to high heel boots. Then you want to go to number 5, not number 5, number 6, and you want to go ahead and buy the black catsuit heels. So now once you have bought them, you can go ahead and save the outfit. So this was the third month outfit in the video. So this is one of the checkerboard outfits. There is three checkerboard outfits in this transfer glitch. We've done the two with the Tron trousers, so we're now moving on to the checkerboard outfits. So you just want to go ahead and save that in the slot, again above or below. So that was the fully checkerboard outfit, which was the third outfit in this tutorial. So now you want to go back over to the um, top section, and you want to go over to bustiers and buy the teal lace bustier. But you don't actually want to do that, I accidentally, accidentally bought the teal lace bustier. But also you want to go over to leather jackets and equip the black crop biker again. And you will see in a second you will need to go to tuck t-shirts, I accidentally put on the black um, the teal lace bustier, which I didn't actually mean to. But I will go ahead and change that in a second. So you want to go over to um, sports pants and you want to go ahead and buy the ash roll ups just like I do here which should be number 52 in the sports pants. So now you want to make your way back over to the top section and you want to go ahead and because I accidentally saved it here so you'll see in a second. You can still save it anyway but you'll just have to resave it after in a few seconds because we're going to need to change the top to um, the tuck t-shirts. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it anyway. So now once you save it, you want to go back over to the t-shirts. And you want to go down to tuck t-shirts and then change it to the black plastic t-shirt. So that should be number 11. So you just want to go to tuck t-shirts. You want to go down to number 11. And equip the black classic. Now you want to go ahead and resave the outfit. But if you didn't save it already, then just go ahead and save it. Now once you save it, you want to go ahead and now put on the toolless bus jar because it was meant for the next outfit in the video. You just want to go back up to the top section, you want to go back down to the bus ears. But first if you want to, you can also put on the denim jacket, which is the stressed denim jacket for number 9. So now you want to make your way back down to the bus ears and put on the toolless bus jar, which should be number 13. So now once you have the tool lace bust you on, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants section. So I do here. I want to go onto jeans. Then you want to scroll down. Now you want to go ahead and equip the black cropped again, which should be number 38, and you should already have them from one of the earlier outfits. 
Now you want to go to the shoe section and you want to go to um, high heel boots once again. You want to go to number 24 which is Dark Midnight Combat. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now this is the last outfit done. So you want to just go ahead and save the outfit uh, just next to the other outfits. So this was the fifth outfit. So you just want to go ahead and save that. So I named that white check because it's a white check called outfit. So you can name it whatever you want. But if uh, these are the five outfits, so you should have all these components saved for the five outfits. So now once you have them saved, you just want to go ahead and bring up your interaction menu and go to the very bottom and take the easy way out. So this will actually force a game save. So you just want to go ahead and do that, take the easy way out. Now you want to go ahead and wait until you load back into, until you do spawn back in. Now once you spawn back in, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online and now you want to go over to creator. So now once you've loaded into creator, you want to go down to creator race and then create land race. So now it should take you back in the sky and then zoom back in. So now for the race details, you just want to make the title whatever you want it. So I'm just going to put just a load of random letters and also the same for the description as well. And for the photo, it can just be a random photo of the sky. But now you want to make sure you have the maximum players on two and the route type on point to point. You want to make sure you have them to um, correctly, otherwise it will mess up. Now if you want, you can change the car to super and just choose whatever car you want to to make it faster. So now you want to back out and go to trigger location, then you want to bring up your pause menu and warp over to the airport just like I did here. Now for the trigger location, you just want to place it just about where I did here. It doesn't have to be the exact spot. Now for the lobby camera, it can just be a random photo again. Now for the checkpoints, you want to roughly copy what I do because you want to make the race about 0.73. So you want to make it around that. As you can see, mine's 0.74. It just needs to be around 0.73. It doesn't actually have to be that. Now you just want to go ahead and test the race, which should only take a couple of seconds. Now you just want to wait until you finish testing the race. It should, it should only take a couple of seconds. Now once you complete the race, you will get that pop-up. You just want to go ahead and accept it. Now you want to go over to the pause menu, go to online. Now you want to go ahead and go to choose character and just wait for that to load up. So now you should see your two characters load in. Now you want to go and hover over your female character. Just go ahead and delete the female character. This, this part you'll have to type delete then you want to go ahead and delete the character now you should see two characters walk back out your male character and a random character now you want to go ahead and press circle or b to back out you do not want to go ahead and select your uh, male character otherwise that will mess up the glitch you want to make sure you back out into story mode so now once you're into story mode you want to bring up your pause menu go to online go not go sorry you want to go to invite only session you can go into a public session it's completely up to you i just recommend the invite only session so now you just want to wait until you load into GT Online, which should take a couple of seconds. As you can see, I'm loading now, so it's almost finished loading. So now once you've loaded in, you should see that you spawn in with your outfit that you was wearing before. So mine is this checkerboard outfit. Now you just want to go ahead and save the outfit. Then when you go ahead and save the outfit, you should see that you have all of the other outfits. So they should have transferred over. So you should have all these modded outfits, as you can see there. I, I um, have them all saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this main. So just save it there. Now if you back out and go to outfit saved, you should see all these modded outfits. So there should be these checkerboard outfits, then the Tron outfit and the Juggernaut outfit. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and you also didn't need to merge which was quite helpful. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also if you want to see some more outfits like this, let me know in the comments. Also leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my videos. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video and peace.